Good afternoon, one and all. It's Stu here from 3B, and it's another video. What's happening with all these videos? There's just too much going on. What is happening with me? The simple fact is that I've got more time and I've neglected the channel and I want to do a bit more for you guys and do more recording. So here we are. Um, I want to talk today about HDMI optical leads. Are they worth it? Are they just a gimmick? Um, short answer, no. But there, are, there is only one reason why you would want an optical HDMI. Um, HDMI leads are only really effective when you're uh, when you're moving sort of 4K HDR data over a long distance. So anything above seven meters, there's a likelihood of dropout. Um, simply because HD, HDMI is not that reliable after about seven meters. Even the best HDMI lead in the world is going to start to struggle pushing the amount of data it needs at 4K HDR over that distance. So what would you do? Well, you can put a repeater in and then have another seven meters and sometimes that works. Um, but if you really, really want to make sure it's stable over a long distance, and especially if you're going above 10 meters and beyond, so if you've got a projector like I have, and I needed like 15 meters of cable to run under the floorboards, up the wall, and all over everywhere. So the projector was further enough away from the screen. You need an optical HDMI. Now, optical, an optical HDMI is just an optical cable with a connector at both ends that has the chips that convert it into you know a HDMI signal. The huge benefit of that is there's no degradation in the signal over up to I think it can go up to a thousand feet. I could be wrong um, but I've, I'm sure I've heard it's a thousand feet uh, that that can go without any degradation to the signal and it can still pump up to sort of um, 18 gigabytes or whatever it is that it's pushing through those cables. So that would be the only reason why you would want an optical HDMI. There really isn't that any huge difference in the quality of the image that you're likely to receive. Not in my eyes. I've got a Samsung KS8000 and a UHD40, which is currently in for repair. But... Um, yeah, I've not really noticed a massive amount of, of difference with that. The only real reason you would want one is if you're moving uh, 4K HDR signal over the long distance. If you're buying it in the hope that it's going to improve this quality of your image that you're seeing on your screen or your projector over a shorter distance, you're going to be disappointed. Not unless you have such amazing eyesight that you can see sort of tiny minutiae of differences, then maybe, then maybe. But for me personally, I've not really seen any difference between that and your average HDMI lead that's sort of 4K certified. So yeah, if you're looking to buy a HDMI optical lead in the hope that it's gonna make your things look smarter, brighter, fancier, better, amazing, don't bother, you're wasting your money. Only do it if you've got a projector that's beyond seven meters away from your screen. And then, and only then, would I recommend buying an optical HDMI lead. Let me know your thoughts. Are you a great believer in optical HDMI leads? Do you have a 4K HDR projector sent miles away from your screen running on standard HDMI leads and you've not faced any problems? Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to click the bell. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to say hello because it's always lovely to hear from you. Have a great day. Bye.